New era. I hope that I should put cool sound effects and explosions and stuff. New era. Uh, it's kind of sad. It, it's actually very sad. Um, but I feel like I'm quite a positive person. So I'm gonna try and make the most of it, get some positivity back. If the audio is echoey right now, it's because I'm in my new apartment and there is zero furniture. Wow, look at all this complete lack of furniture. These are cool. I really like them. They are such a nice feature of this apartment that it makes not having furniture worth it. I've tried to show friends and they, some people like them and some people don't like them. Apparently they are very polarizing light bulbs. Wardrobe room. I really need a new lens because this one is like way too kind of zoomed in. Um, but I'm working on it, getting a new mic, getting a new setup. Um, I'm gonna have a desk and, and pretty YouTube videos, better audio. Just, just, just stick with me. Pretty bath. Pretty. I'm gonna take you to the most echoey room in the house and then everything else will seem better from there. Try not to die, try not to die. Hi! Oh, that was bad. That was a bad room. Not go in there. But yeah, I'm in a new apartment, a new chapter, a new era. Um, hold on, let me set up a little bit better and then we'll get into this whole like life update because it is a life update. I am currently in this new apartment that I am now renting because if you haven't heard, me and Finn have separated. We have broken up. Um, it was a mutual thing between us. We um, have had a healthy breakup, which is, you know, very rare. Uh, but some people are still would like there to be drama. So I'm making drama specifically about me because I don't know, um, I'm a smaller creator, I guess. And also because I'm a woman. Um, so I am a little bit villainized at this current moment on Sunday. And obviously like we're being private, we're not divulging, there's no villain, there's no somebody did this, X person did that. And even if there was, we wouldn't tell you about it because that's not the kind of people that we are. We are just chilling. We wanna be friends. It's not anything to do with you, okay? You know like 1% of what happened in our relationship. But for some reason, Icky is the villain. People think that I, you know, have been using Finn for money or clout or whatever um and that i launched the brand and then i left him very i don't know very sad things finn's audience there is a very small section of his audience uh that are like just finn fans that treat him as if he does not have a brain and that he cannot make decisions you know he is a tiny little baby embryo who cannot make decisions about his own life and does nothing except exist and everything bad is just thrust upon him or I don't know. So yeah, they kind of take away Finn's agency. And then because of that, I'm the one with agency and, and I'm the one that moved out. And and yeah, I'm, I'm personally struggling with it right now because um, an amicable breakup is much harder than one where somebody is the villain because then you can just not like that person and you can move on and it doesn't matter. Uh, but an amicable one, you love that person and you know that they are fantastic, but you just know that it can't work. And that is heartbreaking. It sucks. So we're both struggling. Um, I also want to put in that I am struggling with losing my house and my future plans and what was like, you know, my routines and everything that I was used to. I have ADHD, I have OCD. Those things, I have, you know, stupid things in childhood that make routine and safety and home very, very important to me. And losing all of that at the time that I was trying to get it ready, very, very difficult, right? So now to be like, you suck, damn. <laughs> I, um, yeah, it's fine. You're not supposed to talk about it because it just kind of emboldens people to get on with it, but I'm not really like that. I like to share my life and I like to be more open about it. Um, it might just be that like, I am particularly sensitive to it because this has been very difficult and having to kind of relive the breakup because, you know, we were doing good, we were fine. And, and we broke up a while ago. We didn't know 
when the best time to talk about it was because we didn't know how official it was. And, and it's very difficult to walk back a breakup online, you know? So we, we wanted to be really sure. And also the ick launch was coming up and I couldn't push it back. Um, I, I pushed it back a little, like four days because I was, I, you know, couldn't get it done, but I really needed something to focus on and put my energy into something to keep me sane during like what was a horrible time. So we decided to wait until we were doing better. Uh, we were more friendly and the, you know, the main part of the launch was done and I knew that it wouldn't be like a big deal and it wouldn't overshadow it or ruin it. Cause I'd been working on it for like year, year and a half, two years. I'm not even sure how long, a long time before I met Finn. I will say I am taking fat L, fat L for Icky because of that one clip on stream where Finn asked me. Do you think if we met again, you'd still date me? In what context? Oh, is that a bad answer? In what well, context? But like, I'm saying like, how would you present yourself to me now? Um, is what I mean, I'm saying. Like, I'm saying like, if I was doing all the same, like you met me as you know me now. Okay. Like that. No, but I don't, I can't answer that because I know too much about you. I know everything uh, about you. If like, you I were going, how, okay, picture yourself as an entirely new person. Yeah. Because we've met new people together. Yeah. Imagine you are that new person. So I'm meeting you. Oh yeah, totally. First... Yeah, you're, you're okay. awesome when you like go and meet people. Okay. Yeah. But like, would you date me now that you know me? I'm dating you. Would you date me if you like knew me? Like if we I'm were friends. I'm dating you. If we were friends. <laughs> and I was like very confused about the question and tried to understand it better. And he didn't really do a good job of explaining it. And I kind of took it in a different way than how it was intended. And I said, no, right. And on the, on the surface, that sounds really, really bad. And in the context of the breakup, it sounds really, really bad. And I've seen people be like, that was the moment that I knew that they were doomed. And like Finn's heart was broken in that moment. It wasn't. Finn's heart wasn't broken. We talked about it. He told me in private that it did upset him and I apologized for it as I really did not mean it to. And I explained what I understood and he explained what he meant and we made up for it and it was completely fine. That wasn't the thing that like doomed our relationship, okay? And I will explain my perspective on that random question that I kind of got cornered into on a live stream. I'm not a streamer. I'm not used to streaming. When you are live streaming, you are putting on a character most of the time. And, you know, that means that you kind of click into um, a mindset of like, you know, don't address difficult stuff, brush it off. Just, you know, don't really say your true thoughts because your true thoughts are very complex and hard to understand. And you just say like the entertaining perspective. And I didn't really click into that at the time. I kind of tried to understand the question. And the question was, would you, if you didn't know, if you're presented with a person, you know everything about them, you've gone through all of these struggles together, but none of the positives, so you're not in love with them, you've just met them. And I didn't really understand the question. In my head, I was like, if I was to go on a date with somebody, and I was like, off the bat, I have OCD. Um, I don't have it under wraps fully. Sometimes it's a bit intense. I have ADHD. Sometimes I yap a lot. I have childhood issues that I still sometimes have to work out in therapy. Um, blah, 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 blah. I think that the other person would be like, whoa, okay, I'm leaving. Because any healthy adult aiming for a long-term relationship would get up and leave in that situation because this person has just dumped a bunch of like really intense things off the bat and you have no connection to that person. You don't love them. You haven't been through those struggles. You haven't seen their positive sides. You're just being told every single negative. And I know that this is like kind of nuanced and complex. That's the way I took the question at the time. And that's why I answered no. And if you watch the rest of the clip, I kind of backtrack and try and get it a bit more and try and figure it out. And you know, it just was a silly question. But it sucks that now that that's out, I'm, you know, being accused of not being as invested in the relationship as Finn. Finn was way more invested than me and I didn't care or never cared or blah, 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 blah. It's really, really unfair because we were very, very, very much in love. 
we were you holding it as you saw because we genuinely felt those feelings for each other. Um, for some reason, people have completely forgotten that before meeting Finn, I was not nowhere near as like successful as Finn, or I guess as I am now, but I was doing really, really well. Um, I was on an OnlyFans salary, which is very, very good at the time. Absolutely, like I, I was good, I was fine. And I was a smaller creator, but I was in my little growth stage and I was growing and Finn liked me because I made good content. Like he was impressed by it. And that was one of the things that he found attractive about me, that I was good at what I was doing, even if I wasn't where he was just yet. Um, also forgetting that I had absolutely no clue who Finn was. I heard about him through a friend of a friend. I knew that he went viral on Twitter. That's it. I didn't really know he was a streamer. The first stream that I watched was the day before we hung out for the first time, and I thought it was cool. It's not exactly like a targeted attack on little old Finta. We just genuinely were in love and we tried our best. Talking about it is kind of sucky. It kind of um, is like having a breakup twice. Uh, it really did feel like that. It's feeling like that right now. I'm, I'm feeling sad again and I, I miss Finn, um, even though we don't work in the relationship sense and we are friends. Like I went over yesterday and we were hanging out and it was great and it felt very normal. We were good friends. Um, but you know, he's still special, still really special to me. And I still currently miss him because all of our fans are reacting and being really nice and talking about all the nostalgia and they're obviously upset and, and that, you know, brains are torturous and they're just replaying the best clips in my brain. And it's, it's kind of sad. We did hang out yesterday. We still need time to kind of, you know, get comfortable with each other and not have those little feelings and, and just be friends. I hung out at his house yesterday to pick up some of my clothes for the new apartment. We were yapping for ages. We had a mutual friend there. We both had a little secret cry because we were upset, um, but it was the first time that it felt very normal. Like we were friends, there was no animosity, there was no sort of yearning. <laughs> we were chilling and we will be friends very, very soon. I think it's really funny that when I was putting out my little Instagram story, I was like, okay, this is a serious situation. So I'm gonna put a serious story. It's Instagram, so like, it's not really very serious. So I just, I'm just gonna put, as you know, I don't want to be a content creator. I want to be a real person for a second. Please um, respect me in this time, very neutral statement. And then Finn on the phone, he's like, yeah, that's good. That's fine. We talk for a bit and I'm like, okay, I've got to go. I've got to go to the ick office. See you later. He's like, see you later. I check my phone. I see Finn's story. He has wrote like a much more positive, happy, like Ashley is incredible. <laughs> That little rat bastard, he, he okayed my completely neutral story and he wrote a positive one and then in con and then if you put them side by side, it looks like mine is a lot more harsh and maybe that didn't help the narrative of like, it was my decision and I ran out and all this stuff that isn't true and people have just completely made up. And I know that saying this is not gonna convince anybody, but I kind of hope it does because it's not just like, crazies that have been talking about this stuff. I have seen genuine, like measured people who say like, oh, it's sad that they're not together, but you know, it's obvious because of blah, 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 and things that aren't true. And I'm hoping that those people can be convinced <laughs> because I don't want this to be the narrative. That sucks and it hurts. And not even from like a, like forgetting anything about social media and that that is my job and that my income depends on it is literally just hurtful because I put everything I could into that relationship just as Finn did. Um, it would be hurtful for any of us to be demonized or villains in a situation that just is unfortunate. We have like incredible chemistry. We get along so well, but that's not the only thing that goes into our relationship. There's all kinds of stuff where you're at in life. There's, there's goals, there's all kinds of things. And sometimes it just doesn't really work out. Ugh. Burr, new era, no more sadness. I want to build a clothing rail to go into my new wardrobe room. I am gonna be so fit. If I already didn't work out, this would absolutely make me have the biggest ass in the world because there's tons of these spiral stairs. But this clothing rail 
is gonna go in this middle part between these two lights. And then I also think I'm gonna have a clothing rail here in the hallway area. So the other thing that is important that I need to talk about is, oh, I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna use my phone to record the audio because it might be better. Hell yeah. All right, so uh, something that I need to talk about is the puppy. Where is Tank? What happened to Tank? Obviously, people are gonna be asking about this. You know, he was on our socials and then he wasn't and uh, it makes sense. To start with, we were just very private, you know? People started to get a bit weird about it. And so we kind of chilled out on the tank posting. Um, and then we had events to go to. And so tank had to go to Finn's parents' house so we could travel. I'm sure Finn won't mind me talking about this because he talked about it on his stream, but at the time, his mental health issues that he was struggling with back then uh, were rearing their ugly head and really impeding his ability and then therefore my ability to look after the puppy. So puppy spent more time with parents and then relationship issues, relationship strain, and then eventually, you know, um, the, the mental health issues did get better, but the relationship kind of did not get better and we had to break up. And because we had to break up, there is no way that we can split a puppy between two people um, it's just horrible. It was a really, really horrible decision that we had to do. We both feel king horrible about it. Um, but we decided to try and find a family to rehome Tank to. Uh, and we found a lovely family who have a bunch of King Charles Cavalier Spaniels. And they were like working dogs. They would be out in the fields all day uh, playing together, doing some work, basically attention all day. Um, he can he can piss wherever he likes. He can chew whatever he likes. Um, and yeah, and and so we made the horrible decision of of having to rehome him. Um, and it sucked, but we've been we've had some nice updates. He seems incredibly happy, and um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> It sucks for us. I'm sure it sucks for you guys. I'm sorry, but it does not suck for Tank. He was young enough that um, it does, you know, it's not, it doesn't matter to him. He, I'm sure he was upset for a very short period of time and now he's gonna be happy for the rest of his life. Um, that's kind of the only thought that really helped us through it. We still miss him. I still miss him all the time, especially after the breakup. It's like, wow, I've, I've lost everything. <laughs> um, I really wish I had a puppy right now. That would be awesome. Um, but you know, you can't have a pet unless you can look after the pet forever. And we just couldn't, uh, even though we really expected that we could. So I'm happy that he's in a happy home and that, you know, it's, it's better to rehome a dog than to, or any pet, than to have a pet who you kind of raise wrong but yes, boo, hiss. I'm sorry that this is kind of talking about sad stuff. This is lame, um, but we are in new era, <laughs> which means things are up from here. I could talk about something positive. I can talk about the ick launch and how grateful I am. I'm doing a little vlog in the office. It has been hard. I am exhausted. I had to wake up early for like DPD collection and then um, I was up and then because I didn't sleep well, my ADHD medication didn't work, so it didn't work very well. So I had a very slow day. Ben came in clutch and did a lot of the packing and, and, the, and the sorting stuff. I was very, very grateful. Packing was brutal. I have learned a lot. <laughs> um, I'm sorry that I put Ben through it as well. It is worth it. I am more with it. I have made up for my discrepancies this morning and uh, I'm still really excited. This hurts, all of my muscles hurt, my neck and my back and my arms, but like each one of these is like a order, like that's exciting. That was the first time in a while that I have felt like, oh shit, okay, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> um, things are gonna be fine. They're not, they're not as scary as they seem. Everything isn't falling apart. <laughs> uh, it's something that's really saved my ass. Besides my friends, my friends have been 
absolutely amazing. They have really, really helped me through it. Um, and I'm pushing, I'm pushing Finn to be more social because I know that he likes to be a little bit of a shut-in. Uh, we're gonna hang out on Halloween. We're gonna have our mutual friends come over and to his house and have a little Halloween B-movie horror night. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, my friends have been incredible and Finn's been incredible. Um, but the it launch was the first time that I felt functional, really good thing to focus on. It really made me feel capable because it was something that I did. I felt so connected to it. Um, I've been working on it for such a long time. Like I mentioned, like before my relationship with Finn and uh, it actually releasing it is insane. I, I didn't even kind of prep for this part. It's very difficult to be a content creator when you're packing boxes and, and doing stuff on the computer. I can't really promote it. I can't promote myself. I can't um, grow as a creator and grow as a brand. So things do have to change in that department. It's looking like it's gonna be like slower shipping, like a week for us to pack everything and then however long it takes for them to send it to you in transit. But I feel like that is fair. There is just two of us and um, we can't really convince a fulfillment company just yet because we don't have the consistent numbers to get them to agree to like a contract or to help us or store our merchandise. It is nice to feel like my own creator again. Um, before I met Finn, I was a much smaller creator, but I was my own creator. And then not that this is a negative in any way, like being introduced to a much wider audience was incredible. Very scary, but incredible. Um, at the same time, it's kind of the Finster effect of you know, if you get a creator that interacts with Finn for more than like one stream or one post or one whatever, it gets really, really intense. Um, you become a Finn creator. You do not become your own creator. And I've tried very hard to balance what I want to do and be my own creator still, even with just all the Finn kind of passion that, that my new audience has, but I feel like we've been dating for a while. Um, I really stuck to doing what I like. People seem to connect with it. It was longer than just like an initial burst. It was consistent growth. Um, Finn would be in my content because I thought it was fun. The videos were fun. We have good chemistry. And um, I grew kind of naturally alongside this initial burst from Finn. So I feel now that the relationship has ended, even though we're still gonna be friends, I'm just happy that I can be my own creator again and do my own things and not kind of, you know, get constantly asked about the person I'm dating or theorized on or speculated or all kinds of stuff. Hopefully I have some positive things that you all stick around for. <laughs> I can name one off the bat, my ability to build a clothing round off the charts. Get out of the way door. Get out of the way. Pretty. Oh, you'll know I'm gonna have to make that center between the two things. That's gonna plague me for the rest of my life. Fencer's in my house. I broke in, I found the entrance. Re review, review it. This is, I did a life update video, it's my life update video. Talking about everything sad that's happened. Oh, sorry. And everything. You okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the apartment's really nice. It has been landlord special. Uh, uh, um, it's not a apartment. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that a townhouse. Oh, yeah. Man. You said, did you not say fun? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm looking at that and that's just so sad. Yeah, I can show it now, it's night. Yeah. They just painted all the stuff and welded a very pretty feature. Those brass windows. Bum, bum. I genuinely am considering just kind of stripping the paint. I think it's worth it. Tell us, uh, tell us in the comments if um, stripping the paint and removing awful landlord special would be worth it. Tell us if stripping is a good idea. <laughs> Even though it's kind of melancholic, um, it's obviously sad that this is happening and like having to restart is scary and sad. It's also kind of nice to think about like all the new memories I'm going to make in this place. Like I haven't even moved in yet to this apartment fully, um, but who knows? I'm going to have like a year from now, I'm going to see all the amazing memories that I'll make in here and I'm sure that I will. Thanks for watching. Yeah.